Welcome to How To Pam, Let's Talk Linux, the channel that promotes professional computing, free open source software, and we're helping boss users find the answers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download the source code for Libricad and compile it yourself, and that will help you get the latest version of Libricad. You can see here, this is an app image, which I showed you in another video how you could get the latest version through an app image. I'm going to show you how you can actually build this Libricad latest source code application. Okay, so first thing you want to want to do is go over here to Libricad website. Okay, you go to website and then click on download and we go to the download and here at the bottom of the download page it says build from source. Okay, and it tells us we could get the latest archive from the GitHub here. So we click on that and now we see that we have the source code available here but we're looking at this and this here has a lot of information about how you can do certain things here and here is a, some information about building from source okay so if we click on that link to build from source you'll see here a wealth of information how to build from source and depending on which Linux version you're on, or whether you're on Windows or Mac, it is all listed here, okay? So I happen to be on Debane, or Ubuntu, and it tells me to build from source. I must make sure I have all these support programs installed. Now, if you don't know if you have those programs installed, the best thing to do is just to, to highlight all them, and go ahead, open a terminal, and put all those programs in your terminal. Copy and paste them in, and hit enter. And it tells me that all of these are the newest, but if you do not have the newest, then it will tell you which ones you need to install. Okay, so go ahead and paste all those support apps for building into your terminal and upgrade all of your applications. On Debane we use apt, so we're sudo apt get install and then we install all those suggested apps read that are listed right here. It also tells us that we need to have a QT and it says this is how you could do that. You could install this right here. So let's go ahead and make sure we have that. Let's put sudo and let's paste it in there and let's push that and it says that it's already the newest version of course because I keep these things updated okay so we are ready to go here now it says that we should download the package from here so we click on that link and it takes us back to the source code so you could download the zip file here and unzip it you could do that or you could clone with this git repository but let's show you how to download the zip package here you just click on that it's downloading and if I say open to that, my zip program will open it. Now we extract that into the same download folder. We extract it and it says it's complete and it says show me the files. There it is there. Okay, so I'm going to click on that folder and open it up. And here is a whole bunch of LibriCAD folders and files in here. Sometimes it's helpful to have a look at the readme file. So if you just right click on that and open it with a program that you can read that, maybe a text editor, and it will tell you here a bunch of information about the program, okay? Usually licensing and stuff like that. But what we want to do is go into this. Now the easiest way to go into that is to highlight this and bring down your terminal and say change directory and then paste that in there. And you see it took me right into that directory. Now I'm inside here. And let's just say ls command to have a look. And there you go. All these, all these folders here and files are the same ones that you see in here, okay? So now that I'm in there, let's close this zip program, okay? And let's go get rid of some of these now if you remember we went over here so let's back up this web browser and here we're back to the building from source 
page, Building From Source. Okay, if you lost that, just go back to this address here and you'll pick that up. Now we go down here and it tells us very simply that if we're building for Debian or whatever system you're on, FreeBSD, Red Hat, OpenCS, okay, I'm building for Debian or Ubuntu and it says run QMake slash R and then make. Okay, so if I just put this up for now and bring down this terminal, I'm in here. It told me that I must run QMake slash R. So we write that in and we press enter from inside. We're inside that folder. Remember, remember here that we are inside of the master folder here. If we back up, that's what we unzip, okay? Here was the LibriCAD master zip file. We unzipped it to this folder and we're in there. Now we went with our terminal into this folder, okay? Then we write qmake-r inside there and press enter. Okay, you can see it's working inside this folder. Okay, then it tells us to write make. Okay, if you look here, it told us here to do qmake-r and then make. So I've got that here. Let's press enter. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and start building LibriCAD source application. It's going to go ahead and build this LibriCAD application from the source files, okay? So you can see it's going to take a little bit of time. It's moving away here. Just let it do its thing. Depending on the speed of your computer, the, uh, the size, the amount of RAM, your operating system, and the number of cores your CPU has will determine how quickly it will build. Okay, uh, my machine says we're finished here and it took my machine about 35 minutes to do this and now if we move this out of the way we can see that after we're done running the make command we could go down here to the generic Linux or Unix and it says that the executable that is generated is in Unix LibriCAD okay so if we look at our folder here you can see inside this folder that we were in this here LibriCAD master you can see that there is a Unix folder and inside the Unix folder is this LibriCAD so that is the executable so if we go in our terminal here and we put ls and you can see all these files here now. Now you can see here is the Unix folder. So if we change directory into that Unix folder, into here and press enter, then we're inside the Unix folder and we press L S to have a look and you can see here is the LibriCAD and you see that it's executable. So let's go ahead and just run that. To run that, we put dot forward slash LibriCAD, just as it's written there, okay? and that should run it for us. Move this terminal out of the way. There you go. Have a look at that under the about and there is your 2.20 alpha. Okay, it's alpha because it's the first revision release and it's not released to the public yet. So there you have it. You've just downloaded and compiled uh, the new source code for the latest LibriCAD application that's available. Now, if you would like, you can. You can make a desktop launcher for this simply by going into this directory here and connecting with that LibriCAD file, which was into there and into Unix and this file here. So if we just went and clicked on our desktop, right click and said create a launcher, then we could we could call it LibriCAD and maybe an underscore and you is, okay? And the comment could be source code, underscore code build, okay? And now the command to run that is going to be all of this okay so highlight that and then paste it in here okay that's the absolute address make sure you have a forward slash at the front of that and put in LibriCAD and that should be the address to this executable file so remember put in the absolute address right here and the name of the executable on your desktop launcher and maybe if you'd like an icon you could go in here and write CAD and there's something there we could take this one and make that there and we create that and you see it is here okay 
So now if we click on that, it says we need to mark it executable, and there you go. Okay, so if we look at it, here is our alpha build. Okay, so there we go. We've installed or we've downloaded the source code for LibriCAD, newest source code, and we've built that source code into an executable file and we've created a desktop launcher for that file and now you can just click on your desktop there and you can bring up this here program now of course you can move that desktop into another area on your PC as well and there's ways to do that okay so if I go back here to the terminal we will see that we're still inside that Unix folder so let's back up one let's change directory and put two dots and that goes back one now let's run ls and you can see that in here we have a script here called clean s8 to build it again you're going to have to clean it and you're going to have to run this script so if we just put dot forward slash and then capital letter dot s H, just as it is written there and we run that script and by running that clean script that will clean out the package and get ready for to build it one more time and now you'll notice that as I cleaned it there okay my Unix folder is now gone okay so now I can't run this anymore because when I ran the clean script it took out all my build and we're ready to start fresh so this here if I click on it it tells me there's no such file anymore it's gone okay so now because I've ran the clean we're ready to do a new build and if I wanted to build it again I would actually have to run the QMake R and let it do its thing okay and you see it created a file there and then I could run the make and that would take 35 minutes and rebuild it again okay so there you go you've just learned how to download the source code for LibriCAD and compile it on your machine and create a desktop launcher into that application so that you can be running the latest LibriCAD okay so thank you for watching another tutorial by how to Pam let's talk Linux and if you enjoyed this tutorial give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can join our community on Twitter by going into at HowToPam at Twitter. And we can talk with you there. So thanks for watching another tutorial by HowToPam. Let's talk Linux.